We became homies. I was in the villager train. I but, remember uh, that. Yeah. I was in the villager train, but I got. I, I can't lie. The customs got dropped. You, you and got I evicted. Was, <laughs> custom villager left the scene, and I was a little bit out of there. My my man JP <laughs> stuck with it, and and we see him uh, still today. He has some quality sets. Uh, I will say, go back to a set he lost. Uh, but but did very well in JP versus uh, Captain L. Oh yes, yeah. A, a game three, I believe. Uh, Poon yeah. said it. I can't remember what major, but my man JP showed. Uh, he's got the fundamentals. He's got the fundamentals uh, to bring it out. And we're I, already I, seeing Rude bring out a ton of capes <laughs> in order to deal with the slingshot nonsense. One hundred percent. Yeah, he's he's not trying to force his way, and he's recognizing. Oh, cast on his sparks. I started to get scared a little yeah. bit. You you gotta you gotta be ready to di that super jump punch at a moment's notice here. This is oh. one of the best stages for Mario to bring that ladder together. Oh, and we see uh, Rude already looking for the uh, the jump from ledge fair call-outs that we've seen Prodigy get so much value out of. Mm -hmm. The construction worker Mario implying that Rude definitely thinks he's a hard-working man, and JP, though, getting that early stock only at 86%. Let's see what more he can tack on from here. The fair pressure not getting too much. Dash attack going to keep him off stage. and It is, at the very least, annoying Rude. You yeah. Know, just, just that 2%. 2%. Oh, that's a really good out of shield punish. No, I mean, Great recognition. Yeah, for real. That, that's the villager game, though, you know, bit by bit, you're going to work them down. It's Whenever you're playing a projectile, like a zone, uh, a zoning character, uh, just as much just as much as you're trying to call out people's options, you are trying to force them into making bad decisions and, and really recognizing, you know, uh, human error. Mm -hmm. You're and trying to force that human error. You can force that by just being irritating. And, that, like, you're, you're, you are playing a bit of an emotional game. Precisely. And, you know, I, I think that uh, projectile characters obviously got... Uh, a pretty realistic buff in this game. Like, Villager having pretty, pretty lackluster movement, I will say, in Smash 4. But, uh, one, you know, his overall movement uh, being improved by the by the addition of, uh, of dash cancels. And secondly, uh, the decreased quality of shields as a defensive option in this game has really left Villager and, 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 you know, JP as an abuser of these strategies in a position where he can frustrate you even more than he could have for the past several years of Smash 4. Oh, Up Smash is going to do it. And, yep. Oh. JP now with a two-stock lead, doing such a good job of... Uh, making it hard for Root to just stay right next to him, right? That's kind of the strength Definitely. of Mario is that once you're getting that close combat, once he gets these mitts on you, like he's able to take you for a ride, but Villager right now is just refusing oh. to get in the car. The up air strings. Yeah, I, I think I think Villager in particular is a, an especially frustrating character in terms of, uh, you know, zoners in that compa compared to other zoners, like, like say the Bell Monster Samus, right? Mm. Villager actually has surprisingly good uh, up-close frame data and boxing game. Yeah, yeah. Compa compared to other characters who have such good uh, long-range games as well. Like, after he's done spamming you with fair back air and Lloyds, you, uh, you still have to guess whether or not he's going to do a tilt move or, exactly, or yeah. if he's going to block. He's got reasonably fast jabs. He's got good out of shield. He's got reasonably fast jabs. He's got Nair. He's got a solid F tilt out of shield. Or, or just an F tilt in general, right? Yeah. He's got all this stuff that makes you feel bad for trying to approach him, and it leaves you wondering, like, what should I do? What is the range on this shovel? Down, I'm getting down smash. Let me tell you, I, I played like, this I, man JP I, on Wi-Fi, and this down smash is something else. So like. I watched him connect it the first few times, like, okay, that was a little bit further than I'm used to, but all right, but then that one, they didn't even look like the shovel connected <laughs> on Rude. This down, this down, down smash is a sword. Let, all right, let me just put it out there right now. Builder has a slingshot, he's got a Lloyd, and he's got a sword when you try to come next to him. Kelsey, I need to put this out here right now. Rude is actually in position to be able to take this game ah. back. <laughs> he's got himself Rage Mario on deck. We do have I mean, stadium yeah. platforms to We're help out with oh. the ladder. Yes, that was great use of the cape. A fantastic cape for Rude to protect himself. JP not quite able to find the edge guard, but the back throw, the super zoom in on the net. Still not quite enough, but the fair is going to take Mario jump. And no, oh, no, no, it does. He still had his jump, and then moving back in for the fair and taking the game at 25% with a full, what was it, 120% difference between those two. And like I said, once Rude got to that last stock, he I, recognized Mario can rob somebody. I feel, I feel guilty. I feel good. I feel like maybe I was talking too loud, giving my boy JP a bit too much confidence. Commentator's curse. That oh, you've been out of the game man. too long. You forgot about it. You're right. You're right. You're right. Oh man, my man Rude though, recognizing that there's only one way for him to make it back in this game. He's not gonna work this out bit by bit. He's gonna that have to find was that cheese. Actually, and... so good by Rude too to hold on to his second jump that long because yeah, he did I, get I, th I thought, a it, was gone. I thought yeah. it was gone. I gotta say, but. JP definitely gonna hold it down next game. Uh, curious to see how he holds this out. 
this this is always a relatively even matchup uh, since Smash 4, I think, personally. Like, mm -hmm. uh, uh, Mario perhaps had, had a slight advantage given that he was a relatively high tier character in Smash 4 as, as Villager, uh, you know, kind of kind of fell off bit by bit, but Villager always having that, that little bit of range and disjoint, especially in terms of jungle game, uh, to, to keep Mario and force him to struggle. Mm -hmm. uh, but Mario having the, the sneaky little tools like Cape, like Up Smash, to punish Villager's subpar disadvantage state, to punish his uh, long distance but subpar recovery, as we saw, yeah. you know, the the balloons get you back from just about anywhere, but you're very predictable in terms of where you come back from in Rude, finding and that. If you're finding somebody with a really good spike, yep. you know, that's it. It just takes but, that one ooh, second of disadvantage. Beautiful and, oh! tech. Yeah, Rude barely finding his way back there, and all of a sudden he's... <laughs> I mean, this is... This is it's the story of the zoner versus the rushdown matchup, right? Yeah. Where the zoner tacks on damage, you know, it gets slowly to 70, 80% over the course of like a minute and a half. And then the rushdown character gets in and does that same damage in 10 seconds. No, this, this, this is this is certainly an emblematic matchup of uh, the, the two very different play styles. Great uh, frame trapping, great covering the landings by JP right there, getting the second back throw, but that still reverse, not quite enough. That um, reverse super jump punch by Rude was actually so good yeah. to keep JP off his back, because I think JP was looking for a stage spike there. And JP just trying to find a way to close this out, but Mario, the frame data up close is so solid, and especially these higher percents, so hard to find a way, but JP managing to sneak that Darren, sitting at 107. Uh, with no rage on Mario, just below uh, up smash percent rather, so he should have a little bit of percent to work with. And the down throw to Tree, not going for a combo, but managing that to find the conversion sick. off okay. the Tree, saying, "You know what? I'm not going to go over the combo. You, know you can Kelsey, land." You know what? Some combos do grow on trees. <laughs> <laughs> he finds his way in, man. My man, the gardener, JP, tending to his fields bit by bit. He's gonna oh, sow his way. <laughs> into a game two victory. The dash tag putting him at 157, but Root is gonna have to find something sneaky to get it in. And you know, it it can be especially scary as a as a villager player trying to find your way back. Those uh, balloons, as we've already seen, nice. doing a great job of extending hitboxes, but Root needs none of it. Yeah, just taking advantage of the, using the oh. tree like a spring. Yeah. So go ahead and chase down JP at the corner of the stain. Oh, JP's so good, by the way. I just wanna point this out at uh, covering platform landings. He will wait and wait and wait. You'll try to mix it up, but he will recognize he always has the speed and the range to cover you if you're forced into a landing position. Right uh, above him. Absolutely, yeah. JP uh, making good advantage or taking good advantage rather of this uh, the, the Smashville single platform and the tree holding middle of the stage. Here's to see how he's going to use it. Not overplaying his hand though. Mm -hmm. Just recognizing that you know that tree's out there. It's a good enough threat. You're going to have to force your way in. Yeah, and, and it just and forms itself as a wall as well to deal with fireballs. And the double nair forcing Root off stage. Root at 149 to JP's 33 after the cave. Lloyd still a good position for JP, although he may be feeling a little bit uncomfortable now trying to close his stock out after all this time. You know, the longer it lasts, especially against a character like Mario who can oh. close you out. But the down smash The SDI by Root, but still JP catching the landing right afterwards, just, just calling out that uh, Root is going to come down, just basically block and do nothing. As a former main, just going to say Villager still trash. Uh, up smash simply not working man JP a good enough player to make it work mm. and, <laughs> and the nair out of shield such an essential part of villagers game really requires you know for c compared to a lot of, uh, of, of zoning characters villager really requires a lot of, uh, of, of positional awareness and in particular reaction time to actually get value out of oh yeah uh, given given how much of his uh, of his game is based around that nair out of shield JP really uh, has to make sure he gets those re uh, reactions and reads uh, on point. You don't want to let anyone dance on your shield with Villager. That's a Absolutely. that starts to get really nasty. Absolutely, one of the few things that keeps him viable compared to a lot of other ranged characters. Ooh, and, that was a nice oh. conversion. Nice, nice use of the platform there. Yeah, and that's what we're talking about. JP's reactions, like obviously he's ready, right? It's a partial read, but he knows whether or not it's actually going to be working. Looking for that uh, up air coverage at the ledge as well, and up smash is going to close it out. But JP with an 80% advantage. Let's see if he's able to make something happen here. A little bit early on the grab. Oh uh, man, I don't know. This is this is looking <laughs> even worse in terms of the percent than the previous one was. That Rude just snatched back. We've seen Prodigy and Louise kill from here. <laughs> Every Mario, man. We, we are a scarred region. Although I will say, you know, since... Nice! Oh, heavy Lloyd! Oh my god, the double jump, I think, actually sealed Root's fate there, but that was so sick! Thinking one step ahead here. God, I love watching JP play. <laughs> JP is my man, man. I... Oh my goodness. <laughs> that was amazing.
You know, it's, uh, it's, it's been a long time, man. It's been a lot of years since my man JP picked up this character. He knows these situations, and uh, as, as much as it looks like a bit of a fluke, he's, he put that there because it would kill. And right? It, it he, was still pressure off stage. Absolutely, as well. right? He was like, you know what, man? I'm going to put this out here. If it works, it does. If it doesn't, it doesn't. But in, in this case, it did. And if you don't go over that every game, you're not going to get the value that he does out of this character. I mean, that's that's kind of the, the thing you see from like practical setups is that like yeah. there's not that much risk, not that much sunk cost Whoa. if you go for it and it doesn't come together. That Speaking of practical setups, that dash back. Uh, pivot grab, mm -hmm. uh, even more valuable to villager this game. Uh, pivot grab still a questionable uh, overall option in terms of overall utility, um, but, uh, but faster than it used you? to be. Yeah, no, faster than it used to be. And as, yeah, precisely, as soon as you react to a character dashing in, especially a character like Mario who doesn't have you know a super quick uh, nice ah, out of dash Rude. option. Oh. What's he gonna do to come? Oh, that definitely looked like an input error. I think he wanted that fireball to snipe one of the balloons. Oh, but oh, Rude already. Looking the double dunk. Yeah, Rude definitely looking for these um, these aggressive options, uh, looking for these jumps off stage. But uh, JP recognizing it, uh, backing off a little bit, climbing down and uh, getting the tree out. Let's see if he goes for an axe and the axe coming out, but not the reverse that he was looking for. The dash coming out though, and nice. the wall jump fair. Wow, I have never seen that before. That was an immaculate reaction from JP. Recognizing one, you came up early, and two, I still have an option to cover it mm. within frames, within seconds of that up B coming out. JP recognizing the only and optimal option to deal with it, but Rude quickly tying up the score. JP though, getting that early percent, the double jump into second jump. Nair getting good damage on already 51% on a Rude. And JP trying to keep Matt controlling the center stage very well right now. Looking for that down smash, trying to cheese it out a little <laughs> bit early. I mean, we, he's had so much success finding these down smash wins in neutral up until now. It just catches the uh, unfortunately timed approaches every now and then. <laughs> and Rude, uh, excellent, excellent awareness right there from my man Rude. Uh, the, the early up B recognizing that uh, JP was going to be looking for that turn up, trying to find the early gimp off stage. And the get up attack actually going to cross up Rude. No response. And JP once again, uh, once again rather, finds himself in center stage. Mm -hmm. And. Oh, oh, here we go. This is oh, where it gets scary. Okay. Yeah, <laughs> we all hold our breaths here. But Especially JP in NorCal, man. <laughs> yeah, JP makes it down with only 71%. That's fantastic. Oh! And that is going to be second stock. JP with the first raw bowling ball kill of the set. But you always got to watch out for it, man. It's, it's, it's something you have to be especially careful when you're finding a character with reflectors. Because if they do reflect it, like, Villager just explodes. Yeah, he can't do it mindlessly. But at the same time, while he reflected and Villager explodes, if Villager hits it, you explode. Yeah. He was, I believe, 71% mm -hmm. got taken out with that F smash. Yo! And the, <laughs> the aerial equivalent of a bowling ball. <laughs> <laughs> Rude actually just caught JP at the very tip of the blast zone. That was so sick. Ooh, and I high awareness spot dodge getting out of that villager grab. Rude managed to avoid a lot of damage. We have a close set here. This a is a, this is the closest oh. game between these two yet. The which reflected Lloyd coming out as well. Yeah, he's got himself two Lloyd to fully cover the ground, but Rude manages to just outmaneuver oh. JP on the platforms. And the double nair into jab. JP inching ahead bit by bit and Nair once again going to cover it. JP looking in the zone right now. This high awareness getting these last few frame Nair coverages and all right. Rude being patient, waiting for the shield to drop. Instead, JP just retreats to the corner, gets himself more distance with that slingshot. Looking for the cable, a little preemptive, and the up smash is going to put that good damage on, bring it to about even. Yeah, JP was expecting Rude, I think, to either just like jump or neutral get up there. Oh, JP regretting that grab. I can already see from the look on his face. And he's one of the balloon, balloons. making it back up, and ooh. Back throw again, gets Nair's, himself another chance. Nair to backer, not going to be quite enough to connect. Villager just a little too thick for that to connect. And the dare! No gonna way. do it! Stage spike, no tech from Rudin. JP closes it out. You know what's so funny is the first game ended on a counter edge guard. 